Hey guys, so I'm actually really kind of upset um, today because, because of the long weekend, I spent the whole time, um, I was working on my hate, obviously, because this is a hate video, um, and I, on my phone, was recording mini vlogs um, of my progress and like recording like my thoughts while working on a new page and <sighs> thoughts that I had, um, concerns that I had, questions that I wanted to kind of get um, opinions on from y'all, viewers, um, other people who work on Hades, obviously more than me. Um, and yeah, they won't import into my computer for some reason. I have, I don't know if it's because they're of how long they are. Um, they're only like eight minutes long, so not quite sure. Um, but I had another video on there that was like 30 seconds and it uploaded. So I'm not really understanding. I kind of feel that maybe it's the length, but at the same time, I kind of feel like that's crap. So, um, I guess I will just show you where I'm at with my Hade, um, and try to remember all of the rambles. Come here. I tried. I tried so hard. Um, okay. I thought that it was going to be like a really fun like concept and um, I really enjoyed it and I wanted to keep doing it and I wanted to get y'all's opinion on if y'all liked it and if y'all wanted me to keep doing it and they won't upload. I'm, I'm, I really am like quite disappointed about it to be very honest. Um, okay, so I know that it's not the end of May yet and... So this is where I'm at with my page one. So I still have this big spot and this down here all filling in with 310. And I did some of it. It's a little bit, it, there's a little bit more done than last time. Um, and I got all that blue in there. You can kind of see it at this angle. A little bit of blue, kind of, kind of maybe. Um, but I was getting kind of like, I was slowing down and getting a bit discouraged with all the 310. And so I kind of had like this thought that I want, I'm going to do page two in June anyway. So I kind of thought, well, might as well get a head start on page two and work on that and see what it's like to actually have a page with, um, like confetti and like more than two colors on it where more than... 50 stitches is a different color and not 7,000, like 500 black stitches. So, um, so I started my page two and I went all the way over, um, with the 310 and then did a little bit downwards. And then I started on other colors, um, just to kind of like mix it up and working on one of the blues down here. But I have 10 colors completed. There's a ton more 310 um, sprinkled um, up at the top. But um, ugh. I have 10 colors completed on her. Um, there is B5200, a lot of it for the veil. There's a really light blue. I think it was like 3756 or something like that. Like a really light blue. You can't even tell that the blue is in there. Um, the two skeins next to each other, you can definitely see a difference. But on here, um, it blends in really nicely. Like here's some of the blue, but it just, it blends so nicely. Um, and then there's a light purple in here for some sh more shading of the veil. And then it starts her hair. So far in her hair, I have four browns, a purpley mauve, a mauve purple, and a gray actually to do for her brown hair. It looks amazing. Um, and then over here, I have a uh, majority of all, like all this down here 
is one blue and then I'm putting in a second blue and then um, 3750 is going to be scattered across the rest the whole thing um, and then there's like two or three different grays that come in and also mix with the black of the sprinkles but I have like 37 colors left for this page one of them has one stitch very exciting um, and I accidentally didn't pull that one so I've actually got to find it in my jumbo bag of thread but um, yeah I'm right now working on 924 that's this this one right here um, the skeins next to each other not stitched look very different but stitched they look very similar and they just blend so well um, I'm really 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 loving how this is coming along like I I started to realize like with this page how people just rock it through them and finish them like in a year or less um, I absolutely just like love working on her so the question in the videos that I kind of like proposed is would it be crazy because I have literally like 10 pages that are solid black. Would it be crazy that if like each month I kind of like outline a page of black, like outline it and if there is like a second color because some of those pages there is that second color, the 3750, but there's just like a little bit of like sprinkling in it but literally the rest of it's all black. That if like I make it to where I can do like the blue sprinkles and just outline the page but simultaneously start an actual page, I don't know, and kind of like work on a confetti, but like an actual page and then go back to the to the background. Brittany, I, I asked this of like Brittany Michelle. Michelle didn't really respond because um, I asked the other day whenever she was like actually quite busy and she wasn't really... Um, super involved in the conversation that day, um, which happened, it happens to all of us. Um, but Brittany was like, don't you think you'll get, um, burnt out by the end if all that you have left is 310? Do you think it'll discourage me from finishing? And I mean, honestly, I don't know, but I mean, my goal isn't to like just stitch cool pages you know, um, or what I'm saying is I'm not just saying, let me just stitch like the pages that I, that have stuff on them and ignore the background pages. I mean, to a degree, I'm kind of saying that, but I want to like actively work on them, but I don't think I can efficiently be okay with just doing one of those solid black pages in a month. I think I will go insane if that makes sense. Um, but the way that, it, I mean, aside from like, the only reason why I did part of the black on the second page first was to get like the page outline and then to come down a bit to start other colors because I'm trying to do color completion, um, on these other bits. And then I'm slowly working on the background, um, for this because, um, the background is black, 3750, um, a gray, a dark gray, a light gray, and then the blues that I'm working on, and then you get a couple of like lighter grays and other colors that start feeding into the border around the veil as well. Um, so I have a lot of background left to do, but it's very, very confettied between three of the background colors, between three of the background colors, is very confettied. Um, and this little section, like right here, has like 20 different colors in it. So, um, and some of them are only in this section, and some of them are also like randomly along this edge of the veil. Um, and then the other main color in her hair is one of the grays over here. So, 
Um, I've been waiting to get to that one whenever I could get to it in the background. So that way I can just, I can do both sections of that color at one time. Um, and then I have 3865, which, um, if you compare it to B5200, it's also, it's like a very off white. It's kind of like a dingier white or like a whitewash white. Or um, I think in one of the videos that I did, I called it cotton white. But um, there's a lot of it left in the veil. So I was trying to get some of the um, spotty colors out of the way that don't have a whole lot of um, coloring. And I'm, I'm jumping. So I have, um, I have some jump stitches in, or jump strings in the back. So because of that, I was waiting to do that one last because it's the last like super blocky color um, in this corner. So um, like there's like a good amount of it and like in big chunks. So I wanted to do that last to kind of just reinforce those jumps um, and make sure that they're nice and um, taunt the way that I want them. So that's where I'm at with my Hade. Um, and that's kind of like the question that I'll pose to you. I really, really, really liked doing the like vlog along because I was doing it like in the morning and like the afternoon and the night doing just like short little um, vlogs and showing how much I was getting done each day. And like as I was finishing like one or two colors at a time. And it was just really cool to see the progression and like my thoughts as I was having them so that's a little disappointing I will try and figure that out maybe they just need to be a little bit shorter um, but if you think that would be a really cool concept idea for me to do for the next one I will try to figure out how to make that work um, because I really want to do it um, but is that something that y'all would be interested in also what do you think about my idea with the 310 in the like solid 310 pages. What do y'all think about that? Do you think I should just suck it up in some months, just do the whole 310 page? Or do you think what I'm doing this month, jumping back and forth a little bit and getting some done of the solid 310? You know what I mean? Because I have so many pages. I have 42 pages to this pattern and about 10 of them are solid black. So, I feel like if I just like mix it in but work on the the pages with like the actual person on it um, and like the actual like pattern, um, I feel like I'll get less discouraged with all the 310. I don't know. That's just like my thought at this moment. Let me know what y'all think. Um, have y'all ever done a pattern like this where the meat of the pattern is like basically in the center and then all the rest is background. Have you ever done one like that? Um, you know, what do you do to keep from getting discouraged of, I mean, like literally my first page is like 7,000, like 800 stitches or something crazy like that. And only about 60 of them are not black. So what would you do to keep from going insane from all the black? Um, anyways, let me know and I will see y'all next time. Thank you again so, so much for, um, supporting my videos, um, and supporting me and encouraging me and giving me your thoughts and opinions. I greatly appreciate it and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <music>